thing is, uh, we've sort of defined in our own personal ways what we feel Gen X is, what Gen Y is. For you, the definitive marker is the water bottle phone, right? <laughs> okay. Of the old times. <laughs> yeah, of the old times. So, what Razor TV did is uh, we went and uh, actually, Kylie. Yeah, um, I went um, to. Where? Oh, I went to Topayo actually. <laughs> yeah. um, and I came out with this thing called the Strawberry Quiz. Mm-hmm. So I asked the people on the street some questions to sort of determine whether they are like strawberries or actually hardier than that. La. But um, disclaimer first, right? This quiz has got like absolutely no scientific basis. Uh. Absolutely it's, none. Yeah. It's just fun. Yeah, it's just fun. <laughs> so let's take a look at our quiz. The Strawberry Quiz. When you're faced with a pile of laundry, what do you do? A, leave it till you're out of underwear. B, wait for your mom or maid to wash them. C, do your own laundry regularly. C. C, okay. I don't do. I think my mom do. Uh, do my laundry regularly. Quite cool. I Maybe. do my laundry regularly. Uh, wait for my mom to wash them. <laughs> wait for my mom. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Number two, work is killing you. You're very stressed, overworked, underpaid. But your boss treats you well and you love your job. What would you do? Be depressed, complain about it, but, you know, don't really do much. B, quit. There are always greener pastures. C, I love my job, I'll make it better. C, I love my job, I'll make it better. I love my job, I'll make it better. Okay. I love my job, I will make it better. Mm. I think C, yeah. I think I'll choose A, be depressed, I complain. <laughs> <laughs> okay, number three. You're looking for a book that's been out of print for a while. How, what would you do to locate it? A, check out the bookstores. B, forget it, you'll never be found. C, scour the internet, you're bound to find it. Internet, it's definitely going to be somewhere. Forget it, never be found. <laughs> C. I think I scour the internet, mm. you're bound or to find it. I think C again. Forget it, I'll never be found. <laughs> <laughs> okay, last one. You feel strongly about animal rights, what do you do? I'll be nice to my pet hamster, I'll sign an online petition, or I'll become vegetarian and organise a rally to spread the word. Mm. Mm. Don't I think see. No. See, uh, wow, really? Uh. <laughs> I'd be nice to my pet hamster. I'll be nice to my pet hamster. Sign an online petition. <laughs> None of the above. <laughs> mm, <A>. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thanks very much. Basically, I'm just trying to find out if if different generations make different decisions. Mm. So, okay, la, my... If your answer is mostly mostly C la, so you're more you're not really a strawberry, you're more of a durian, you're tougher <laughs> and you go for what you want. Okay, so your okay. answers are mostly C la, so uh-huh. you're you're a tough person and you go for what you want. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, thanks okay, very much. Bye. We are just doing a quiz on whether young people who are not in the strawberry generation are more resilient or give up easier la. So I am I supposed to be more resilient? You have more A's and B's la. So you are not really like that soft but can try a bit harder la. <laughs> <laughs> Like start by doing your own laundry maybe <laughs> Oh, My mom will be so happy to hear that <laughs> if I really start So do you think it boils down to the little things like doing your own laundry? Yeah I guess because Do you I mean, do your own laundry Li Hui? No. Ah. <laughs> Although it's just one question though. Yeah. Although yeah. do you, do you even um, sort of gather them together and bring it to the washing machine? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I do, I do, at least you could do Yeah, that's least you could do <laughs> I mean, I mean, it's a bit private, but then I, I, I wash my own underwear. So basically, Good that, job. no, no, that there was a, like what you mentioned. There was a time when I didn't. I would I would not wash them until I I ran out of underwear. Like A. Like, like and A. And then one day I just decided it was too much. <laughs> it, was, it was just really sloppy. And I really just did it like out oh, of my own accord. So and what, what, what happened? What, what, what was the wake up call? I was just really tired of having to do a pile of underwear laundry. <laughs> <laughs> so I decided it's better to do it day by day. So, See, yeah. okay, at the end of the day, I think Lionel is going to say this. It boils down to personal interest, right? When they the do passion, their own laundry. The passion for your underwear. Passion to clean them. <laughs> so what would you make of uh, you know, a trait like that? Um, I think this okay. A trait like that is is across generations. Uh, if push comes to shove, there's a there's a problem. Then you know you go about doing something about it. I don't think it's generational to speak. Um, but it's a nice quiz. I think that quiz should be extended and to be uh, applied to a lot more people. You probably get a lot more interesting. It's, it's answers. quite hard coming out with four questions yeah, yeah. already. <laughs>
That was, a, that was a good job anyway. Okay, we've said so much about, you know, okay, how the strawberry generation is so tofu, right? It's like bro- broken at the least bit of pressure and rots easily in the heat, right? Okay, we also have seen like how in the case of the wild strawberries in Taiwan, where they are actually not an apathetic bunch, where it's actually a political movement, where they've uh, harnessed the strength and the, you know, of technology and all that to spread the word. So, what are some of the clear strengths you see of, despite being slightly soft, that the strawberry generation clearly has an edge over previous generations? Do we? Do we have an edge over previous generations? Um, well, personally, to a certain extent, uh, because the current generation is not really the breadwinner generation, because there's, there's well, there's, there's the fallback or there's, you know, the... Um, Okay, they're not the breadwinner generation. And because of that, I think there's a lot more scope and, and room to develop, pursue you know, the other causes or the other passion or the other interests and take it up to many different levels. But of course, if you bring it down to a, a level where it, it comes down to the fact that you have to now earn your keeps, find your own bread and butter, then of course, there's less time to pursue these other things. Um, and in a sense, then what of the causes and the, the passion and the motivation? Li Hui is dying to say something. <laughs> dying. Yes. Like, yes. Yes. Actually, yeah. I don't know if this is all track, but basically, I just wanted to check. Actually, what, what did the previous generations do that, you know, defines them as so tough and, you know, so hardy? Yes, yeah. I know. Yeah. Explain yeah. yeah. yourself. Okay, Lino. I don't think there's a definition that defines the a generation X as hardy or anything. But uh, the definition is that they have less to start with. And so, uh, in the generation now that they have more to go, go out with, it seems like there's an imbalance. So, we're not really tougher. We, as in, like, you know, I, again, I hate to generalize, but there's a generation that, that grew up or, or was born in a generation that we have a lot less to start with. We have less access. We have less of almost everything. But now, there's a lot more of everything. I mean, I mean if you look forward, uh, there's, of course, now the term of Generation Z. Right, and the worry now is they got so much of everything that uh, their attention span is almost minuscule. Yeah, there's, there's no focus. Not, there's uh. nothing. Yeah, there's nothing absolutely anymore. And and by and large, if you look at the '90s, at one time, and I'm a witness to this because I see a lot of the you know in, even in the primary schools that I teach, they have to do three things at one time to feel comfortable, which is not. I mean, I, I can't say it's a bad thing, but if they can cope with that and still excel in it, then it's a question of you know they can juggle a lot more. Uh, at, at the kind of generation. Maybe Li Hui, instead of getting Lino to posing that, that very hard question and throwing the hard ball to Lino, right? I mean, just think about um, what, what does your mom say to you like when, when they talk about, you know, woman yi tian, uh, you know, some of the things. Yi tian, yi tian, <laughs> and then that kind of stuff. I think not, not, nothing really to that extent, but um, maybe just... Um, I, I think it really boils down to the part where they they really do things for survival and to just make a living instead of like what Lino said, passion. But I mean, passion is not necessarily a bad thing, and because the fact that is that we we really have means to make a living, and that's why we look for something more that to to fulfill ourselves, which actually shows that you know humans in in every generation they they basically they they they're not I mean. If, they, if something is, is, is satisfied, then they will find something else to do more. So we are not necessarily just lazy and just soft. We actually look for more challenges in life. Yeah, yeah I, I think to add on to that, uh, and I'm not trying to you know, say everything that's bad about the Generation Y, uh, because of the fact that the, the Generation Y has probably a comfort level that you know, is within their comfort level, um, they, it, it's good that we see so many uh, groups starting out things and causes and because there's many of them they are really passionate about what they do then we see the development of many other things so they actually add on and help in the development of a lot of things uh, without which I think we might not even be a better society you know yeah I think Singapore is quite an interesting you know sample of Gen X Y strawberry generation because we have something unique that the West doesn't have or even the rest of Asia, which is we had such a fast track to development that's unheard of in any other nation. So much so that we have very close reference to our pioneers of Singapore and we've heard, you know, ministers, I mean, talk about how, you know, 
the generations in the past are hardy, they're hardworking, and they had something to fight for. So are we saying that Singapore, you know, being on the, we're on track now, everything is smooth and mostly developed, so we have very little to fight for? It's not a matter of survival, but about quality of life now. So do you think that is the reason, or do you even agree that that is a motivating factor for Singaporeans to you know, rest on our laurels? Do you think? Uh, to, to, I mean the current generation? Or? Yeah, the current generation, for the tofu generation. <laughs> well, I think the good thing is that because of the current generation or the Gen Y generation that pursues the things that matters to them, and yet at the same time are able to find a way to make, I don't know, big money out of it, then, you know, they are still earning a living. They're still, they're still generating their income and doing well. So there's no fault of that to pursue something that they really like and then monetize it in a sense. And actually, the envy, I would say, of the later generations is that they are able to do that. Because a lot of the Gen Ys are taking their own initiative to start out something that they like, you know, um, in their comfort zone and not necessarily through hardships. It's voluntary hardship, like what I mentioned. But yeah, at the same time, because they, they can excel and get so good at it that, you know, it's, it becomes uh, phenomenal. It becomes, it becomes something that they can then, you know, use it as their own bread and butter. And not just that, you know, it's more than bread and butter. It gets better and better. Yeah, well, Lionel, while I agree that it's no fault of the strawberry generation that they grew up in a greenhouse, but, okay, let's not debate about whether it's their fault, but we, let's talk about, is it a problem? Is it a problem that they have? Gr- we we have grown up. it so easy, la. Yeah. Is it a problem? It's definitely not our fault because it's the environment. But is it a problem? Do you think it, you have a problem? <laughs> is there one? No, I mean, if, if it's good times, why why complain, right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, I think you just proved Lionel's <laughs> point. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, but but you you see, like what he mentioned, there are people who still go out and do. And, 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 you know, chi chuang, you know, go, go and strive a, a, a living. And now the challenge is to find something that will give you a sense of achievement. And, you know, I know of, you know, at least five of our, my friends who are doing their own businesses now. And not all of them had it easy. I mean, I know of someone who is still not having a positive cash flow. And he just told me, like, last week. Yeah. And he is still doing it. And that is a struggle. And, you know... Uh, in itself and something to be commended to to go ahead and do what you believe in and to make it work what do you make of that i think okay um again this is quite general but if you actually look at the different different groups that are around the generation to speak there's of course a group that's very dedicated that's very focused and they're the go-getters and they make things happen and they add on they add value to society and probably everything that we do but of course there's another group that falls within the same generation that is just the me too and I don't care I had I mean I run productions I had people who walk out in the middle of the production because it was too hard they want to get more pay but they didn't you know they just couldn't take it and of course there are students who also drop out I mean I have students who come in and they say I just switched out of two years of accounting because I couldn't take it and now I want to try something more fun so there, I mean there is a group that is just living for the moment uh, whether that for the moment is going to add on to anything in the future is is you know, and it, this for the moment is not something that we've seen in the previous generation because the previous generation is you take it, you stick through it kind of a thing. You know, so you know, in a sense, it's not really a problem, but it's an issue that. Uh, but now, now it, we it, get it, an idea, a better idea of why Lino thinks the way he does because he's seen more than we have. <laughs> yes, he's seen people walk out. I, I think I think he should. I should just introduce more of my friends to him. <laughs> that, that, that would change mountains. his perception of things, right? Yeah, you oh. should meet some mountaineers. So that might change your perception of uh, the strawberry generation. No, but I think uh, when Yvonne talk about um, our forefathers and our pioneers, I think what you're what you're trying to get at is that whether Singapore is doomed in a sense because if we are all like Bleh. so noir, right? Yeah. So like, you know, do you think the people that you know who are like wonderful and resilient and great okay, okay. are going to like you know sort of sort of sort of step up to the plate and 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 continue you know what singapore has achieved la. i think that like what I, I, sorry i just to add, just to continue <laughs> but because my point is that after all they are doing things for their out of their own accord for their pursuing their own passion we the priority is not such that for the greater good kind of thing you know? Although there's a group that <laughs> There is always another a group, group. <laughs> Okay um, 
like what I said earlier, it's about the environment. So I believe that people are very adaptable, and and it uh, extends throughout generations from when you know we were primitive to to today. And if say the environment requires us to step up our game and be more resilient, you know, be more than just think about ourselves. I am sure that when when they are asked to do that, they they can. I mean, it may it may take a while, a bit of adaptation, but they definitely will be able to do so. Yeah, actually, I do agree. Having been, you know, playing devil's advocate for the whole show, that that is actually one key strength of the strawberry generation. That is adaptability, and uh, because they grew up in a globalized environment, we kept blaming the environment, right? But because simply because they grew up in such a globalized environment, they're able to be like global citizens. They may adapt to any country they go to, whether it's on the internet, virtually, or in real life. Yeah, react on the spot when the time calls for it, right? Yeah, there's a certain dynamism. To it, that is coupled with you know the ethos of the generation. I feel. Okay, maybe I try to round up the show in a not so serious manner, lah. Okay. Huh. Okay. I have a very, 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 very difficult question to ask all of us here. Okay. When Bring you bought on. your first mobile phone, who paid for your bill? My parents. <laughs> My parents. I did. So. See, that is precisely the. <laughs> and you haven't answered the question. Oh, my parents, uh. <laughs> yeah, are they still paying for this line? Oh, la. I'm paying for it now myself. I yes. guess there's the difference, now <laughs> yeah, Because for yeah, us, yeah. it was easy. We just, daddy, uh, can I get a uh, Sony Ericsson something something? You know? Yeah. Yeah. The first thing I got was actually a pager, but yeah, my my, my dad bought that too. See, but they got it to keep tabs on you. <laughs> <laughs> no, but Lionel had to get I it on my his own. own. Pager too. Yeah. So self made. The, the self-made Gen X Prime example of, of What we should all aspire <laughs> of to course, be Of course income and what you can buy is, is Falls under a different category I, I guess yeah. But yeah. again try to not end in a bleak note right? We, we <laughs> need the Generation Y To pursue what they believe in So that we have a lot of these value adds Whether it's concept, companies, organisations Ideals or whatever To keep going And you know that because this is not a, a, a Phenomenon that is local It's actually international that means something is going, something is happening. Mm, that's right. Okay. Well, it's a nice note to end on, Lionel. I'd like to thank you, Lionel and uh, Li Hui, for well, coming well. on our show. That was a very wonderful discussion. Yes, yes, that was good. Yep. And um, um, To catch more of um, shows like that, where we get our guests to like, try and fight, but they didn't really fight. But, you pretty know, civilized to, to, bunch. Yeah, do, do catch Point Blank on Razor TV at, every day at 8pm. And do check out our other shows as well. Yep, we'll see you online.